So I'd like to welcome you to this course uh, called Functional Programming in, uh, in F-Sharp. Uh, it's a Russian language course for the F-Sharp programming language. And uh, it's a great thing that you've chosen to do this course. Uh, the course will be taken by Dmitry, Dmitry so Soshnikov. And my name is Don Sym, and I'm the designer and original creator of F-Sharp. And I am, continue to be a contributor to the F-Sharp programming language and the F-Sharp ecosystem. I'd like to welcome you to the course and uh, I know that you will learn a great deal about functional programming and if you continue through the course your programming life will be changed forever as you learn new skills and new ways of thinking, cleaner and better and simpler ways of thinking about how to construct software. One of the questions you probably have is why would you learn F Sharp? What, will, what does F Sharp specifically bring? One of the characteristics of F Sharp is that it's really key is that it can be used for a whole spectrum of programming tasks. It can be used all the way from small scale data scripting or small data scripts which work over very large amounts of data right through to full software development for very large software systems. And one of the key things that, that, that causes that is because it has a succinctness uh, like Python but it has the strong typing that allows it to be used for robust and maintainable large scale software and code. So as you use F Sharp, you'll probably be using it across that spectrum. Sometimes you'll be using it to do small tasks and sometimes you'll be learning, well, how does this help me write very large software systems and be part of teams delivering correct, maintainable, well-engineered code. Sometimes you'll be hacking and creating and having fun. Sometimes you'll be saying, okay, let's apply more rigorous software engineering. And you can use F Sharp across this spectrum and learn it. Make sure you have fun, but make sure you also become a great engineer with using uh, the language. Now, it's F Sharp, uh, we're here at Microsoft Research in Cambridge where I work, but F Sharp is a fully open source and fully cross-platform language. Microsoft uh, uh, contribute to the F-Sharp programming language, but we have contributors all around the world. Uh, F-Sharp runs very well on Windows, but it also runs extremely well on Linux and Mac and, uh, and many other systems. You can use F-Sharp through many different editing tools on Linux and Mac. Right here, for example, I've got an editing tool called Jupyter Notebooks, uh, which will be available uh, as cloud-hosted notebooks for the F-Sharp programming language. The code we're executing here as you run through this notebook here uh, runs on Linux in Docker containers uh, in, in, on cloud-hosted resources. Uh, a great and exciting development in the F-Sharp world. But that just shows you the spectrum of work, uh, of, of delivery that we have for the F-Sharp programming language. You really can use it anywhere. You can do JavaScript programming, user interface programming with F-Sharp uh, through uh, a system called Fable. Uh, you can program Linux, I've already mentioned, and of course you can program enterprise applications in, in big companies uh, uh, using F Sharp as well. So F Sharp uh, is supported by Microsoft through the Visual F Sharp tools. Other companies also provide support for, Microsoft, for, for F Sharp in, in different configurations. One of the great things about F Sharp is its community, its worldwide community. Uh, we have people literally from everywhere around the world. I've made friends all the way around the world through the F-Sharp community. And you can access the F-Sharp community through the F-Sharp Software Foundation is one way. Uh, of course, the F-Sharp Software Foundation exists to protect and preserve F-Sharp, to act as a voice for F-Sharp in a range of different settings. Uh, you can join the F-Sharp Software Foundation. We love to have uh, people from around the world from uh, it's not just an English speaking we have people Russian speaking people we have people from Iran we have people from uh, Indonesia we have people from Vietnam from all the way around the world and you're welcome to join uh, this this organization you can also find the F sharp community on Twitter using the hash F sharp uh, hash F sharp tag on Twitter there's a lot of discussion and uh, interaction on Twitter. It's uh, very friendly and very welcoming. Um, we, um, we, we want uh, you to come and join in the discussions that are happening and contribute to, uh, to F Sharp through that route. You can also find F Sharp on Slack 
and in many other places. You can find out about those community places here through uh, fsharp.org. One of the ways you can keep in touch with what is happening in the F-Sharp community and in F-Sharp based technologies is through uh, the F-Sharp Weekly. Now I want to mention the F-Sharp Weekly sp specifically in the context of this course because it is published by uh, a Russian speaking member of the F-Sharp community <coughs> and uh, called Sergi Tion uh, who is in Minsk in Belarus. And so if you search for F Sharp Weekly, you'll come across Sergi's blog. And if you follow his blog or follow him on Twitter, you'll get regular updates from around the F Sharp world of the week after week of the many different things that are happening from uh, in, in the F Sharp community. One of the questions I get asked about F Sharp all the time is quite naturally, how is F Sharp used in industry? And why therefore would I learn F Sharp? What sort of thing does it get used for? One of, the easy, one of the best ways to answer that question is for you to come along to the fsharp.org website from the FSharp Software Foundation and come along to the testimonials here under the Learn tab. And there you can find page after page of testimonials about how FSharp is used across the industry by individuals, by, by large enterprises, by startups, and uh, a really exciting range of applications of the programming language. F Sharp has been used by uh, major financial institutions. It's been used by startups, by startups that have become massive, uh, massively valuable businesses. Uh, one startup called Jet.com uh, has become a three billion dollar business. It was recently acquired for uh, some uh, around about that. Uh, in, in, in America and they, uh, they use F Sharp very extensively through a microservice architecture. F Sharp is also used uh, through teaching courses and for people just having fun and being creative in their software development, for game develop development and for service development, uh, for web implementation and also for data science and data scripting kinds of applications. So you can learn about all of those different kinds of uses of F-Sharp here on the testimonials of the F-Sharp Software Foundation.